Hello everyone, welcome to another Top 5 Records video and another one in the series in which I'm taking a closer look at the full discography of Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. This month I'm looking at the entire body of work because at the end of the month we are getting a new release, namely Wild God. But I'm not going to talk about Wild God yet because the album isn't there. What I am going to talk about today is his sixth album, is their sixth album, The Good Sun. Now, this is a unique one. Why? Something is different with Nick Cave here. This record was partially recorded in Brazil and partially recorded in Berlin. Now, we've seen Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds record in Berlin more often. So, why did he move? Did they move? To Brazil. Well, Nick Cave had a new relationship in Brazil. And the thing is, this was a good moment in his life. Not only did he seem to be very happy with his partner then, also, um, I believe he was doing some th therapy, his, his drug issues were less problematic at that moment i'm not sure how it entirely went but nick cave is more cheerful and what do we get a much lighter album now his, the mood of a nick cave and the bad seeds album is it's never gonna be pop there is always certain darkness in the air a certain mysticism but in this album it's not that heavy for the first time in this discography series. It's not um, haunting, dangerous. There's not a lot of violence going on here. And I like the violent part, really. But after all these dark, violent prisoners albums, it's good to hear him in a good shape. And also, he can be very sincere about his good condition. A lot of times when somebody's trying to make a cheerful album, the the happiness or cheer of the artist doesn't translate that well into interesting music. Well, if Nick Cave can do one thing, it is translate his own happiness into a good album just as much as his own darkness. This opens with Juan Acra. Um, I believe it's a Brazilian hymn or something like that, which is an interesting opener. You can also hear Brazilian influences. There are uh, little jazz samba influences there. It's it's obviously an album in Brazil. Not full-blown Gets Gilberto style. I mean, a Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds album stays a Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds album. But there are tiny minor differences. And it also adds to the lightness, really. And the good song. Good song. It's a nice song really it's more light-hearted it's 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 good then when he gets to the weeping song which is a bit odd in the in the light of a more light-hearted album but on a certain level it seems as if nick cave's embrace of the weeping of the crying is a release of all the build-up stress of the last couple of years, albums, problems. The Weeping Song has an element of sadness, but it also has an element of cheer, like cheering up. And it's an incredible song. I love it live. I love this studio version. And then immediately when you go to side two, another all-time Nick Cave from the Bad Seeds classic, the Ship Song. This is such a beautiful, hopeful song. So nice, light, light-hearted, but with a gorgeous melody, slow, light-heartedness. Oh, it's incredible. This is a very, very good album. It's just incredible. Oh, as a matter of fact, funny thing is, I was today at the Waterloo, uh, at the New Market in. Uh, in Amsterdam, and I talked to the drummer of Claw Boys Claw. I'm not sure if you if you you know the band. It's a Dutch punk band. It's very good Dutch punk band. They're famous, and the drummer said that he was um, 
working with Victor van Vught, who I see here, Victor van Vught, um, after John Cale wanted to produce his album. And uh, John Cale uh, would go to their show, but the evening that they would be performing, um, Nico from Velvet Underground and Nico, and a lot more great solo albums, she, she, she died. So John Cale didn't appear. And Victor van Vught <laughs> came into the game. So uh, after doing this album, he went to record with uh, Claw by Claw. Just something that popped in my mind because I, I, I heard that story today and I saw a name I recognized. Ah, Victor van Vught. Well, interesting to have a Dutch influence on this incredible, brilliant album. He was the engineer of this record. So this one, The Good Son, their sixth album. It is one of their best and one of the easiest to put on. I mean, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds darkness can sometimes be a bit um, like you have certain films which you really love and they deeply um, and you feel them really deeply, but you're not always in the mood because there's so much darkness. This is definitely the easiest one to put on, but not uh, not just dumb cheerfulness. It's a really good deep album. So what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.